Hey there everybody, Jeremy here with the Practical IT Channel. Today we are on our Ubuntu machine and I'm going to get Flatpak installed. This is going to be quick and simple and all you need to do is open up a terminal, make this text a little bit larger for you, and do sudo apt install Flatpak. Enter the password. Okay, so now we're installed. And just for the sake of argument, I'm gonna come here to downloads. And I've got one flat pack that I downloaded. And that is somewhere in here. So it is this one right here. We're just gonna double click on it. and it brings it up in a text editor by default. Okay, there's an additional step we've got to do or a couple of additional steps we've got to do. So first, we're gonna move our terminal down here and we're going to install the soft, GNOME software plugin for Flatpak. that installed and then we need to finally enable the flat hub repository we're going to say flat pack Okay, flat pack remote hyphen add double dash if dash not dash exists flat hub and then https flat hub.org slash repo slash flat hub dot flat pack repo. Okay. say do that again just to be sure okay now if we come back let's just minimize some stuff we'll come up here in software and search for minder and here we go we've got mind mapping app called minder and we'll go ahead and get that installed and we're not gonna go too deeply into this in this video but in a future video we will take a look at minder which looks like a pretty interesting mind mapping app that runs via flatpak So I will go ahead and be back once this finishes its install. All right, now that we've got this installed, we will go ahead and just click the button to launch it. And we've got our mind map application here. And as you can see, that loaded up pretty quickly. Okay, our main idea, we'll just call it Linux, and we'll right click, add node, and tab is a child node, enter is a sibling node. So if we're on this, tab for child node 
and we're going to call this uh, terminal and then child nodes for that will be uh, say GUI for that one okay so we want terminal to have uh, ls Uh, pwd ps grep and so we've got the start of a mind map here so we've got terminal applications and for GUI we might uh, say cut copy paste settings and I don't know screen resolution just to get things going and we may embed this under settings at a future point but anyways we've got the start of a mind map for a video or series of videos on Linux and we can use this for various things. So if we come up to, um, well, where is the save option? <laughs> um, we'll just do close tab, save. We'll just call it Linux 1 MM. Save that. And then we can close this. And we've got our flat pack installed and we're ready to install other flat pack applications on this Ubuntu install. So again, this is a pretty short video. Hopefully this is useful and gets you going if you are using Ubuntu, which does not come with Flatpak enabled by default. So at least up to the 20.04 version, what happens down the road and in the various uh, sub distributions, that's anybody's game. I believe there's at least one with the 2204 release that is actually going to come with Flatpak enabled. Uh, I believe that's the Mate desktop version, but uh, don't quote me on that quite yet. All right, if you got something out of this video, you know what to do. Head down to the comment section, leave me some feedback, and thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next video. Have a great day.